All right, I'm gonna explore Flanor. It's a little bit early and their equipment won't be as good as later in the game, but I might as well just see, uh, look at all my options. Why is that guy collapsing in front of the building? Also, might be a good chance for Colette to talk to some dogs. Huh. Oh, this one is Poochie. Poochie Poochie. Did you I thought you already used that name, or was that just my imagination? Soria is always covered with snow because of the ice caves. The summoned spirit of ice is said to sleep in the ice caves to the south. You're going to the Flanora Clinic, right? Are you sick? You look pretty healthy, though. Are you coming to look at the snow, st s snow statues? They're certainly well done. Isn't this a nice day? Oh my, what a handsome lad. I'm sure you've broken many hearts. Heh, <laughs> I guess I can't fool you, huh? Heh. <laughs> there must be a special reason for you to come to a cold place like this. Shopping. Are you alright? Ugh. Please, hang on. I'm sorry, it seems like I've been struck by evil energy. Evil energy? Do you by any chance possess the Devil's Arms? Yes, I have Colette's. Devil's Arms? The evil eye that you possess is one of the Devil's Arms. Who are you? My apologies, my name is Abyssian. I am the last surviving member of a family of demon hunters. I'm Lloyd, I'm on a journey with my companions. What does a family of demon hunters do? There was once a man named Nebulum who attempted to conquer Tefeala. Nebulum was eventually defeated by a single swordsman, but his lingering hatred fused itself into the swordsman's nine pieces of arms and cursed the swordsman's descendants. Wow, that's pretty scary. The family of demon hunters are the descendants of the swordsman who defeated Nebulum. Every member of my family lost their lives to the curse of the devil's arms. That's terrible. Can anything be done? I feel like he's only telling a half-truth here. If all nine items are gathered and sealed, the family curse will be lifted. So that's why you asked us about the Devil's Arms. Yes, however, the curse has progressed more quickly than I expected. And I too have been struck by Nebulum's evil energy. I think it will continue it'd be difficult for me to continue gathering the Devil's Arms in my condition. Let's help him, Lloyd. Yeah, after all, we already have s one Devil's Arms. Let's find the rest ourselves. Are you sure? It is not a minor task. A lot of mini games. Dwarven vow number two. Never abandon someone in need. Then please take the sword and key. The devil's ar arms carries the will of Nebulum, and the pieces respond to each other. When this sword reacts, you'll surely find devil's arms in the that area. When you have collected all the arms, please return to Flanor. Nebulum's key. Does this- does the curse of the Devil's Arms affect anyone besides members of your family? No, it shouldn't. What is it, Prisea? No, it's nothing. Okay then, we'll be back soon, Abyssian. Thank you, I am in your debt. Can we trust him? Not really. Yes, this is an actual sword, but it's super weak right now. Over- uh, of yeah, once I unlock them, then they'll give me stats based on my number of kills, but not for now. Snow Clinic and Church. Hello, my cute princess. Hello. Celsius's tear is a flower that grows in the ice caves. What? Who's this guy? Ah, oh, excuse me. Do you by any chance have any Celsius's tear? Celsius's tear? What's that? The, the Celsius's tear is a famous ice flower in Flanor. It has the mysterious power to freeze anything. Freeze anything? I don't know of anything like that. I see. If you find any, please let me know. I'll pay you whatever you ask. Okay. Also, be careful when handling the Celsius's tear. If you touch it directly, you'll be badly burned. Then how do we get it? You'll be fine if you touch it with the penguinist gloves. Ask the old man at the Snow White Accessory Shop about it.
Huh, it's not mentioned here, I think. Some of these side quests. Oh well. Hmm. Who lives in here? Is this an inn? I've missed you, honey. Hi there, handsome. You're pretty weird to come to a cold place like this. Do you come here for a reason? I bet it was the snow statues, am I right? Cold days definitely call for a hot drink. Greetings, welcome to Olive Village. 500, no thank you. Hey, I better keep an eye out for any suspicious objects. Could be a wonder chef. Honey, how are you? Now, now. Welcome. Hmm. Wonder Chef likes to hide in these kinds of rooms, too. How are you, madame? Oh my, he, you know what to say to a lady. Heard of the summon spirit of ice may live in the south. But don't take that kind of rumor at face value and head out there. If you were to get lost or something in this weather, Empty room? C could it be? Any wonder chef in here? I'll see any examinables. I'll have to look up a guide later for that. Boxes? No. Oh, is that the clinic? I think I'm going to catch a cold by the time any my turn comes. Achoo. It's finally my turn next. I can't even remember how many days I've been in line. The Flanor Clinic has an, an excellent reputation. But I'm not really sick enough to stand in line and wait for the doctor to take a look at me. Hello, my beloved. That won't work. You still have to get in line. Lining up to see the doctor. If you want to see him, line up behind us. I cut in front of the line. Haha. <laughs> Any wonder chefs here? You all have colds too, right? Almost every patient who comes here has a cold. I wonder why. Hello, my beautiful rosebud. What? What? Are you going to play with me? I wonder at what exact point it stops feeling cold. Would you like some fresh vegetables? Flanor potion. Attack buffing. Yeah, this kid is the NPC who sells the satay that you need to make curry. Very important to come here in case you use up the satay for something else by accident. How? Oh, Penny, she's so cute. Hmm. Gotta continue flirting, switch between Zolos and Colette depending on the NPC. The power of the Chosen is to talk to NPCs and get unique dialogue. Hello, my beloved. Too bad, I'm waiting for my boyfriend. Hmm. But she still tried to give me an item, so that's good. Aren't you cold dressed like that? The people of this region all wear jackets stuffed with penguinist quills. Penguinist quills will protect you no matter how cold it gets. The Sears snow statues are quite impressive. What the? Does this lead back to the first screen? The caves where a summon spirit is said to be are south of the city. It must be even colder there than here. Hmm. Yeah, it just loops back around, but there's still more up top here. If the influence of the summon spirit causes it to snow, then there must be a desert somewhere created in the same fashion. Though there aren't any deserts in this world, but there is one in Silverant. 
Bigfoot. Wonder Chef. Pac-Man. I don't see, I don't see the Wonder Sh the real Wonder Chef though. Weapons. Oh. Cats. C. Great and material exchange. Wow, this guy's got a good selection. Hmm. Okay, Ultimir. I looked it up in Acelia, the Acelia wiki, and it seems that Ultimira's gear sh should definitely be better than the ones in Planor. Actually, the ones in Planor are not that different from the ones we currently have. My girlfriend is angry again. She says she doesn't like the Bigfoot claw I gave her as a gift. Does she have any idea how hard it was to get Bigfoot's claw? Is that... What is this? You want to know about the penguinist gloves? Penguinist gloves are nice. Four mittens made from the quills of penguinists, which dwell in the ice caves. And let me see. If you had three penguinist quills, I could make a pair for you. Huh. Welcome. Oh, this is pretty good. She actually sells all these. Yes. Yes, in case you forgot to buy them back in Silveront. So I have to get how many quill so I have. Can they only be can they be obtained from the penguins in in the overworld or just it just in the dungeon? You're cute. Play with me. Solsi says here, Daddy said they're dangerous, so you shouldn't touch them. Hmm. You can get a good view of the city from the sightseeing terrace. The city's the city's beautiful landscape is truly worthy of its reputation. At night the street lights alter the scenery into something even more fantastic. No matter what the circumstance is, salvation can always be found. If your heart is troubled, confess it at the church. Hey, I found it! The Wonder Chef! I'm the mysterious gourmet, the Wonder Chef. I shall teach you quiche. Egg and meat. Farewell. How are you, madame? Oh, my tea. Fancy being you here, chosen one. There are things I must attend to. He... This, the church in the city is beautiful. It has a different charm from the cathedral in Maltokyo. We can continue onward with the guidance of Martel no matter what the climate or where the location is. Go on the journey. It is a good creed. Hmm. This church is the only facility of the Church of Martel in this area. It used to be a house of guidance as well, but with this harsh climate, it was difficult to maintain and support it, so it was abandoned. Hello, my beloved. He may the protection of Martel be upon you, heart symbol. No more miracle gel. This is the Flanor branch of the Church of Martel. The church is often used for wedding ceremonies. And many come from afar both to visit as part of a trip and to exchange their vows. Hmm. Is that it for the city? I think I have enough penguin quills now. So that means they can make the gloves. I'm going to do the Earth Temple first, but still this will be good to do ahead of time. Yeah, they're not that hard to farm if you've got Colette in the party. Oh, good, good. This is my first job in a while. Now, just wait here. Wait there a minute. There. Penguinist... Uh, it's done. A pair of penguinist gloves. Please, take them. But those penguinists, they were basically... They look like humanoids in penguin costumes, so... I, I'm not sure what to think of that. And they're actually equipable. Resistant to ice. That could help in the fight against Undi- uh, I mean, Celsius. 
But can I make more? That's the question. Does not look like it. What a shame. That would have made my life easier. If I could just have everyone, as many people decked out with it as possible. Okay, time to pay the visit to Alti Tamira. I might not buy weapons, just armor, since I'll pro I'm probably gonna get some g good weapons in the dungeons anyway. I'm the sorry, but I'm going to wait here. They usually don't give you enough armor to outfit everyone. What's up? Won't say why, huh? Well, you don't want to talk about it? That's your business. Lloyd, let him do what he wants. All right, we'll catch you on the way out. Unfortunately, this means you cannot use his shop bonus here. Hmm. What? Can I even talk to this lady in there? Why? Why can't I talk to them? They're right there. Maybe I walk really slowly... No. Okay, talk to NPCs. I miss you, honey. Please enjoy yourself. Also mirror the seaside paradise. Welcome, are you one or guest staying at this hotel? Hello, my beloved. I'm uh, being spoken to. My tanning paid off. Rapes. Hello, my beloved. You just can't. You just come to the sea, and you're you've just come to the sea, and you're already trying to pick up girls. Up ahead is the beach. The beach here is wonderful. You should check it out. I've missed you, honey. This is why I love the beach. I wonder where the changing room is. Hi, you're charming. Now, now, please. I know it's part of the job, but it's hot in this outfit. Oh, my apologies. What do you like? You're not actually selling anything, though. Blue water, white sand. So picturesque. But why does it make such a weird sound? Are you sure this is water? It seems more, more like slime. Hello, my beloved. The sea lowers people's inhibitions. A trip to the beach isn't complete without watermelon splitting. But it looks pretty split. Huh, that's weird. Oh right, Wonder Chef, is he around here at all? Nope, not here. So many NPCs. This is a really big town. City looks like it has no problems, but there was an incident eight years ago in which several people lost their lives. The stone back beside the hotel towards the back is a monument to that incident. Honey, how are you? You're here too, sir? I'm having such a pleasant time. I feel like I've really gotten my money's worth. It's just what I expect from a place called the Seaside Paradise. This is my first time here, but I really like it. Really coming to like Altamira. I think I'm going to stay here for a while. I want to stay here forever. I don't want to go home anymore. I've missed you, honey. No, no, don't hit on the employees. This little one feels like a Lulu. He's, her tail is so cute. The elemental railway goes only to to the amusement park and the Lazareno Company during the day. Below is the elemental railway boarding platform. Hmm. Flowers. I'm sure the hotel is way too expensive. Welcome! This hotel features rooms on the 4th and 5th floor- 4th uh, and 5th fl floors of panoramic views of the ocean. Shopping area on the 2nd floor and a restaurant with a breathtaking view on the 3rd floor. Please enjoy your stay. Hmm. 
This hotel is just as splendid as I heard. This will be a perfect spot for me to ask her to marry me. Welcome to Hotel Leza Reno. 400 a night. Wait, that's actually cheaper than some other places. What the heck? Okay, I see a cat's over there, but can I actually walk on there? You're cute. What's wrong? Are you lost? You've got to be joking. Something but, uh, here but expensive stuff we, uh, we can't buy. Mom and Dad won't get out of bed, so we're, we're exploring the building. There's a real sense of quality about the goods they carry. And the atmosphere is nice. It feels very mature. Cats. They still won't sell EX gems. What the heck? Armor. Hmm. Okay, third floor. Let's see if there are any more NPCs for Zelos to flirt with. I'm getting tired of the ca company cafeteria and bagged lunches. Since we've got this great restaurant, we should make use of it. I should make use of it. Um... It's a nice place, but it doesn't really suit me. Even if the food is good, the atmosphere doesn't fit you. If it atmosphere doesn't fit you, it's not enjoyable, you know? I can make it part of my research, too. It'll be like killing two birds with one stone. Hmm... I missed you, honey. Yes, are you ready to order? Hi, oh, you're charming. Why, hello. No more rare pellets. Suppose I should expect no less from a restaurant rumored to be where the Wonder Chef dines. Speaking of, where's the Wonder Chef himself? Hmm. The trickiest one. one of the trickiest NPCs to find. Hello, beautiful one. Hello. Oh, hello. The city has grown so much over the years. The Lazareno Company is quite a company. I never have been able to conceive of converting an entire city into a resort. Because of the first thing I always think about is the cost. It was when we were about your age that the city began its transformation into a resort. Hmm. Four F. If you like a room, please check in. Fifth room. Okay, I guess I'd have to check into in order to see what's in those. Oh, can I actually use this place yet? Hello, my beloved. Oh no, I mustn't. There is already someone in my heart. Is this your first time in Altamira? The city was developed into a resort by Lazareno. Okay, which route? Hmm, amusement park. This might be the biggest city in this game. This is the Lazareno Company headquarters. All communication of clients and the public is handled through his, this office. The Elemental Railway will now depart? No. Hmm. Only those with employee ID may enter the upper floor. Welcome. In other words, there is not much I can do here, since I don't have the employee ID. Business is up again this quarter. I can't believe we can express how impressive Georgia's skills are. Still, because of the outbreak of monsters, our profits are steadily decreasing. There's not much anyone can do about that, though. Yeah, not a lot of people are going to be traveling with monsters roaming about. I have to be careful not to overly rely on George. It's quite a blow to the tourism business of Lazareno. No, I, they won't let me get away with it. Alright. Amusement park? Hmm. 
Any way to make this animation faster? Oh, what the mascot? Hi, this is the amusement park. Please be aware that the amusement park is closed at night. Oh, there's a bunch of rides. Ellipses? It's best not to speak when you're in one of these. Hi, you're charming. Oh, too bad, I'm working now. Talk to me when I'm off, okay? Are you having a good time? You aren't shy about enjoy enjoying places uh, yourself at places like this, are you? If you learn to think like a kid again, you can have a good time anywhere. Hello, my beautiful rosebud. Play with me. Hmm. Hey, this is fun. What's wrong? Are you lost? Stop. Oh man, what to do? I wonder if any of the workers in the suits are female, then maybe they could work with Zelos? Spin, spin, spin. How about spinning in a cup? You must have a free ride to pass. Hello, beauty. My, you startled me. Did you mean to say that to me? You have interesting taste. I'm glad the children are having so much fun. Although I'm a little tired. Places like this are for children to... Uh, like this where children are a bit stressful for adults. Free ride... Uh, free, uh, free pass. Do you have one? Ferris wheel, if you want to ride it, talk to the guy in front of it. But I don't have the pass, you jerk. Hmm. Is that all we can do here? There's no way for me to get the pass, so I'm stuck. Yeah. Okay, now he's in my party again, and I can equip him with the new weapon I bought. Bear Claw. It's usually something you should equip on your hand, but he everything is feet for him. Hmm, it's only I could land right in the dungeon itself. Temple of Fur. What is it this time? Whoa, a, an earthquake. Whoa. That was startling. That was a big one. An earthquake that, this big might be enough to change the shape of the dungeon. I wonder if anyone has any new text to learn. Anyways, if you use the earthquake... Uh, uh, in the wrong place, you will end up summoning a bunch of enemies. Hmm. Really? Oh, I f they said it would. Maybe... Oh, there it is. I guess it's random. You're in real world. Cave worm. Whoa. That was so easy. Okay, this one definitely needs earth. And they all sink back into the ground? The heck? How does that work? And a gnomelet. Hey, you losers can't just barge in here. What's this thing? Who are you calling a thing? You want to fight, huh? We have business further on ahead. Will you please let us through? Well, Big Brother came back and all. Yeah, sure, go on. I think Big Brother refers to the gnomelet that wanted potion. Thank you. Oh, you don't have to thank me, honey. You're making me blush. Hmm, that sounds like someone we know. What? That's what I'm like? Talk about a shock. Let's go. Will you sing on a bridge screw me over somehow? Hey, isn't anyone going to say something? Zillow, so I think you and that small child are different. Oh, Persea. 
Perseia, not all questions require a response. In this case, it is fine to ignore Zelos. I see. You're one to talk. Okay, what's this thing? Oh, I thought I'd be able to break it. I guess not. Oh, but what about this one? I think I have to get on that ledge. Whoa. This is gonna be cake. Oh, a, a clay golem. Ah, oh, crap, it's homing in on me. Did it drop its hand? That's quite a combo. Once it drops its hand, it bends over to pick it up, but even bending over hurts me. Nice guard break, Zelos. Ah. Okay, which way do I want to go first? Hmm. I continue down this path a bit. Let's see. A bridge I, I can break. And a chest. But why are chest marks on the ground? This is gonna be Weird. <laughs> Mithril circlet. Someone must have a non-Mithril circlet right now that I can replace. It's an int type, so... Better give it to someone like Rain, I suppose. Yes. Okay, should I drop down here yet? Hmm. You know they want me to go into this area? What's with this device on the bridge? Weird. It's a bunch of gnomes. And the chest. Belly Bane. What's the, what's a belly bane? Uh, is it an armor? A weapon? The heck? Okay, next up, the curry gnomelet. What, you losers got a problem? You want to fight? Are they all like this? They must have had a poor upbringing. Just like you. Ouch, Sheena, that's harsh. What are you babbling about? What are you here for? We wish to go further in. Would you mind letting us through? You want me to let you go through for free? The world doesn't work that way, kid. Not again. You and your brothers act and look, uh, look and act way too much alike. So what is it you want? What is spicy like? Does spicy taste good? Give me something spicy to eat. He wants to eat something spicy. Maybe he likes curry. Oh yeah, that's good. Feed me that. Now let's take a break here. Who will cook? Hmm. Zelos, how about you make some? Okay, I'll show you what I can do. Oh, so this is spicy. Well, well, it's spicy, but good, right? Ooh, oh, spicy, spicy. He probably doesn't understand what spicy is. Well, it's not like I put a lot of effort into it or anything anyway. Zelos, you are dripping with sweat. Yes, you appear to be very serious about making it. I just tried some, and it's good. It's a waste to just feed it to that gnomelet. But Hey, stop that! Yes, whoever you pick will get affection. Because I guess Lloyd will uh, compliment them or console them if they're Rain. I'm not sure if Rain would be able to make a good curry. So what's your gimmick? What, you losers got a problem? You want to fight? Their reactions are identical to the point that's just silly. No, we don't have any business with you. Hmm, your face says, We came here to meet the Summon Spirit of Earth, but we're spending all our time dealing with these weirdos. And we may still, uh, and we may still get stuck again someplace. Maybe we should have just kept going and not uh, wasted time stopping here. But then again, this guy might be useful for something, right? That's awfully specific and self-aware. What kind of face is that? 
You want me to help you? What? What do you want this time? What? Nothing. Don't need nothing. This one is nice. Relatively speaking. Please help us. Okay then, I'll be waiting at the secret passage ahead, so hurry up. Okay, this is where things get tricky. We have to choose carefully where we want to drop when using the Earthquake skill. Okay, so what about this panel here? Ah, chest! The X gem level 3. Okay, I can only have one choice here. And again, one choice. Um... Yeah, this is why I said multiple trips. Hmm. I think that all of these will lead to the same place, don't, or will they? Hmm. Here, maybe? Ancient Rod. Hmm. Oh, good, we barely managed to get this one. Or Diche. And this is... One more. Uh... And then here. Hmm. Two gnomes. Oh, you guys, you're the ones that, that gave me the potion. This must be Big Brother. They all look the same, so it's hard to tell. Do you want to go back up? Then use the hole. It's a secret passage that only gnome lets use. Yeah, we're gonna have to make it, We're gonna have to go uh, back and uh, to that uh, section again, anyways. Thanks, Big Brother. Oh, there you are. There's a big chasm further in. Yep. We have to drop the path above down onto it to get past it. I'll go over on over there. What do we do there? I'll tell you when we get there. All right. Okay, I'm going to go now, but do something about those monsters along the way. It's really annoying when one of them touches me. So we need to make sure no enemies touch you, right? Yeah, I'll raise the big pluses they do. I can skip out on this mini game for now, right? Yeah. Middle panel. Only one panel here. Ghost shell. Is that for... Regal? Well, I already have a bear shell anyways. Hmm. Then two more paths. Okay, what about this one? Oh wow, it dropped me two ways down. Huh. Okay, the far side. Only one I can go down. X gem two. Oh, hey. X gem one. Okay, so you have to fight monsters before he touches them. You're in the world. Be right back. How many monsters are on this path? Oh no, another one. This is gonna be cake. Keep ahead of him. One more monster to kill. There. Uh, still going.
Ah, oh, shit, I screwed up. I should wait for him to go back in first before doing it. Now I've got to do it all over again. Please get in there. Oh, you're here. So what do we do now? You and I are going to cause an earthquake at the same time. Th then this pipe will fall down, okay? I get it. We're going to increase the strength of the shock. I'll say one, two, three, so match your timing with mine and use the sorcerer's ring. If we do it a few times, they'll fall. Gotcha. Wanna hear it again? No, thanks. Okay, here we go. Once more. Not quite yet. Oh. We're in a bridge. Hey, you almost got us killed. Oh, I didn't think that would ha about what would happen if after it fell. If we didn't have these X spears, we'd be dead. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes. Huh? <laughs> well, I'm going now. Yeah, thanks. Okay, save here. Okay. Gnome time. The summon spirit, not the GUI for certain Linux distributions. So this is Gnome. Since Volt was Undini's opposite, Gnome's is... Ifrit! If we wake up Ifrit, that'll sever their mana flow, right? No, it's Sylph. Honestly, how many times do I have to tell you before you actually remember it? I see that the level of education in Silverant matches the status of the world. No, Lloyd's an outlier. Yes, you could say that. Lloyd's just an outlier. Lloyd, that was not a compliment. Alright, here we go. Hmm, so you're a summoner, huh? Well, look, sorry, but I've already got a pact with Mythos, okay? There's Mythos' name again. He must have been amazing. I am Sheena. I seek a pact with Gnome. I ask that thou annul thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact with me. Meh, you sure use some stuffy language, bleh. Um, well, I mean... This is how I was taught to do it. Really? Oh, yeah, well, whatever. All right, show me what you got. Bring it on. Come on. <laughs> Time to taste dirt. Oh, no, he's got a spell already. Ah, shit, I screwed up. I didn't make him his absolute hit. Okay. Lloyd, throw yourself an orange shell for now, just so it doesn't go to waste. And guard. You haven't gone to over limit yet, dude. I did like over a hundred hits on you by now. Also, mm, this could be bad. Nice ah, belly flopping. Understood. Pineapple gel. Ah, shit. 
You're taking way too long to cast Nurse, seriously. Oh shit. Ah! Okay, we need to... I'm good thing I died shit, but Sheena did not. Good save, Genus. Ooh, nice combo. Oh yeah! Check out this nasty ass combo. It's not quite a hundred, but it's not bad. Let's see if I can actually get. Ah, screwed up. Oh well. I went to use Demon Fang, but I pressed to, uh, forward too soon. And I don't think it would have picked up anyways. Ready? Ah shit! Dude, he comboed Sheena. Lemon shell yourself. What the, what the heck happened to you? Why did you stun yourself? Did I, I think I smacked him in midair and that made him stun himself. Huh, that's very lucky. Oh yes. 84 hits. Fight dirty, you know that? I mean, what's up with the four on one garbage, Mythos? Well, he did it by himself. There ain't no rule about fighting one on one in this. Plus, self fought for a uh, free on four, so I don't think numbers really matter. Oh, yeah, well, whatever. Make your vow already. Oh, this guy is hard to deal with. For the sake of creating a place in which the two worlds no longer must sacrifice one another. Give me your power. Heh, <laughs> give me your power. Hmm, well, alright, I'll go ahead and lend my power to you guys. Self, <laughs> it's been like what, uh, 4,000 years? How's it going? Looking good. <laughs> it has been a long time, hasn't it? It seems that the mana flow between us has been severed. Yep, uh, there's gonna be an earthquake here in a bit. After all, we just basically ripped out the mana link. Hello? Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Take care, everyone! See y'all! Okay, later! Hurry up and turn to your accessory. So I can start dealing earth damage by default. Maybe use Grave Blade too. But I'd still need a, I'd need a Master Fierce Demon Fang first. Alright, just like we planned. But you know, I've been thinking. If the worlds are separated from each other... How are you going to get back? We're not going to be able to see each other again, are we? Why not? We can just go back and forth with the Riards. Right now we can move in between the worlds because they're connected by the flow of mana. But if the worlds are split apart, we don't know what will happen. So the instant the flow of mana is severed... We're stuck on whichever world we... Uh, 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 we're just stuck... We'd be, everyone would be stuck in one of the worlds. Hmm. The two worlds may part ways forever. Will that mean that when we form the pact with the final summoned spirit, we'll all have to say goodbye? We don't know if that's really the case, so there's no point in worrying about it right now. True. Where shall we go next? 
I've heard that the summoned spirit Celsius resides near Flanor. Okay then, let's go have a look. Ruby. Cut Ruby weapons for fire. Also, curry. Yes, now I can spam curry whenever I want. Whoa, Genus is surprisingly bad at curry. Huh. Gnome is so cute. Cute, really? Just look at the ribbon on his head, the way it spins and spins and spins. If we're talking about ribbons, Perseus is cute too. My ribbon does not spin. Uh, hey, Perseia, wait! Was she upset about being compared to Gnome? Seriously though, I don't think that thing is on no that thing on Gnome is a ribbon. Maybe it's an internal organ. Or ex external organ, actually, since we can see it. Hmm, many treasures. Ah, oh, a new chest. Mithril bracelet. We have quite a few of these. This one's a regal. Good. Did that work? Yes, it did. Mithril Guard. Quake, does this do anything? Oh. Cool, short, a shortcut back. Nice. Where are you all doing here? There's one missing! Huh. A gnome what that's still missing. Interesting. Ah, earthquake! It's an earthquake! It's just like Gnome said. It's proof that the spool of mana has been severed. The rene earthquake at the rene renegade base may have been caused by it as well. Splitting apart worlds is no minor task. One can expect the land to react to these unforeseen events with at least an earthquake or two. I hope we're not breaking anything by doing all this. Hmm. Whoa! What the heck? What the hell is with the hitbox? Oh no, it's going underground! We need to scan this thing! This is a rare discovery! What? Did, is it guard breaking me somehow? I see. Sword Rain Alpha would actually screw me over here. So would Tiger Blade because it launches me in the air. Oh snap. Would inspire its weakness? Oh man, this. This enemy. I need to rearrange my arts to accommodate its bizarre size. Let's see, what the beast sword ring? Yeah, this looks good. Oh, good. I need to rethink the strategy. Ah. Can we even unison attack this thing? Uh. I feel like we could at least try. I don't know. That is one weird hitbox, seriously. 
What the hell? I should just run the next time I see it. Does it doesn't even drop anything good? Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of Tales of Symphonia, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.